I what's up everybody uh, this in this video I'm gonna show you a quick camp build that I found while doing the ash heap stuff and after that I'm gonna do a video on how to maximize XP and nuclear winner so that you can get those rewards get that XP up and I'll tell you the story of how I managed to accidentally win nuclear winner with no guns no armor and uh, without firing a single bullet at anyone so stay tuned to the end for the nuclear winner stuff and let's get right into the camp build so this is in the ash heap. I built on some of the stairs that I found naturally. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty cool lo location. I haven't really seen any a lot of bad guys here. There was a mole man once and a few rats, but pretty low level. It's right next to that big excavator. I did find some raiders out back, and there were a few ghouls. I wanted kind of like a garage setup that would lead into the bottom part of the stairs and I kind of put down like the wallpapers and all my furniture and all that just using the space as it is instead of trying to build onto it a lot if you try to build onto the stairs and all, all the uh, pre-built stuff it does tend to get glitchy like if you put items in that bottom part under the stairs they tend to pop up to the top uh, up here it was pretty easy to build you're able to kind of use this platform and benefit from that uh, the, the view is super cool if you uh, see in the in the right hand side right there, you can actually see my dad wearing the uh, sun mask. Here's from the dome. Really great views from all sides, especially if you build up like a tower at the top. And then back there is where I found the raiders. And then there's another view of just how cool this this location is of the excavator. Here's just a highlight of uh, the Mama Moon mask and. Uh, if you don't know what the moon mask is, it's actually from the first black and white video of a missile hitting the moon, and then that's the sun mask from this year's Fosh Uh My dad was able to slip in, one got one win in the Fosh Noct event, and actually got that reward. I hope you enjoy the base build. Let's jump into the uh, nuclear winner video. Hi, right, what's up everybody? Today, I'm here to tell you how you can get the most XP out of Nuclear Winter without firing a single bullet. This is the best way to maximize XP and do as little work as possible. Like, I'll sit here in matches and watch Hulu or... So, whenever we go to Morgantown, I always go and I hop on the uh, missile silo because a lot of the times there's no one there. And a legendary chest will spawn. And so that's that's my typical game plan is I, I'll spawn somewhere where I know not a lot of people will go and then uh, I'll get whatever loot I can and then the main concept of this whole shtick is you hide in a porta potty like a little baby girl you hide in a porta potty because here's the thing if you can get to 10th place you get a huge boost in XP, like 200 XP or something like that. Every kill you get on a human is about 20 XP, I think maybe plus 10 XP if you down them, and then 10 XP on creatures. So I tend to kill creatures. If you are going in, guns blazing, you get in a bunch of fights at the beginning. If you don't win all of them, you're getting 100 XP max. If you die within the first 10 minutes of this, this game type, you're getting 100, 200 XP. If you can get to top 10, I get four five six hundred xp for doing nothing i do absolutely nothing one game i did manage to win without armor without a gun i hid in a porta potty it was me and my father we were in two porta potties side by side someone opened his porta potty i booked it i booked it out of there i ran as fast as i could and i went around the corner i put down a new camp i built a new porta potty and i hid in it until the almost the last circles I move over to this other porta potty and some dude actually opens the porta potty completely naked no weapons tries to come in with me I don't think they knew I was there and they're doing the same tactic of hiding instead of fighting and then just they booked it the other way and so then the circle gets smaller I, I am forced out of my porta potty I creep into this bush and lo and behold it's this other naked dude and so I creep around this building I'm hiding on a porch and it, People are dropping, people are dropping, and all of a sudden I won. I don't know if the guy died to fire. I don't know if maybe it was radiation or the Scorched Queen killed him. Either way, I won without armor and without shooting a single bullet because I didn't even have a gun. Or in this other uh, match, it was me, my dad, and some random guy, uh, and we were all naked. None of us had weapons. The random guy actually ran around and didn't even bother hiding but me and my father we hid in porta potties until the circle started closing and by the time the circle started closing we 
just crept with the fire, completely naked, no guns, no nothing. We kept hiding in bushes. Now, it was boring. The only thing funny about it was us doing these, like, we were crouching up and down and making the other guy crouch up and down. So, it, I mean, there was a certain level of entertainment to it. But we actually were, we got down to the, to the fifth place team. He sat there like a bunch of idiots, crouching up and down, completely naked with no weapons. In the gameplay that you're watching, I think I get down to sixth or sixth place, something like that. Uh, I shoot nobody. I have... I do have guns. I actually got really lucky. I spawned on the missile silo, got a legendary box, got a 50 cal right away, went through the woods, got some scout armor, and then I ended up right in the circle, which is super awesome. While I was in the porta potty, a couple times I would hear people walk right by, never once opened the porta potty. And so by the time the fire finally got to me because I was outside the circle, I am wearing my headphones, and I heard the fo the footsteps right outside the door, and I knew I was in trouble. And so I ran out, full speed ahead. I knew they would be there, and I saw three or four team, like or three or four people. I was running right behind them. I stayed in the fire. I was hoping they wouldn't see me. Uh, they do shoot at me quite a bit. Somehow they didn't down me. Pure luck. Absolute pure luck. Try to find a bush I can hide in. I was getting on these bushes that were solid, and I was actually getting on top of the bush, unfortunately. Uh, they got a few shots in. I stimmed up because I had those stims from early in the game. I think I got a super stim from that bloat fly that I killed early in the game. And I uh, hid behind a tree. I saw more people going in to have battle. At this point, there were about 10 people left. I had my 50 cal ready. I didn't really want to fight anyone if I didn't have to because the, the, the more and more people drop out of the game, the more and more XP you get. So I would rather just wait it out and disengage. So the game goes on and on. The circle's getting smaller. I have to keep creeping. And what ended up happening is a bunch of rad scorpions kind of found me. I didn't want to fight them. If I had a melee weapon, maybe I didn't have to. But I ended up shooting at them. I think the uh, other players either saw me panicking because of these rad scorpions. They maybe saw the rad scorpions coming towards me or just saw me in general because I do have a bright pink Pip-Boy on. But either way, uh, I did eventually get found by the other players and I, I get got in sixth place. But it's proof of concept, absolutely. You can get down to top ten easily by building a porta potty hiding in it like a baby girl. Or even just hiding in a bush, and you'll get way more XP than if you do. If you go in, you kill one kid, you get that 20 XP, you get 40 XP for the time that you were in the game. If you've gotten this far, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, thanks for watching.